June 25, 2018 6.13 p.m. Updated June 25, 2018 10.41 p.m. Scroll Staff Share Tweet Email Reddit Print Share Tweet Email Reddit Print FIFA World Cup by Scroll Staff Published June 25, 2018 6.13 p.m. Updated June 25, 2018 10.41 p.m. Team Russia 10 feet Suarez, Uruguay 23, Shereshev, Og, Uruguay 89, Cavani, Uruguay Egypt and Saudi Arabia face off in Volgograd in what will be their final group game. Catch live updates Hera Spain, Portugal target last 16, Egypt look to end World Cup campaign on winning note, red heartbreak for Egypt, 95th minute, G-O-A-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L, Saudi Arabia win this at the death. Salem with a lovely finish after a very patient build-up down the right. They snatch third place away from Egypt. Live updates here FT, Uruguay are looking like they are in a very good space. The strikers are among goals, the midfield looked better today and the defense is flawless. They will not be an easy team to break down for anyone. Pick.twitter.com slash CXO Wixerm 5i, Squawka Football, at Squawka, June 25, 2018 FT, Uruguay 3-0 Russia Rouge is worst every World Cup defeat but Uruguay were too good today. The South American team are yet to concede a goal in the tournament and are the Group A toppers. They will face the team that finishes second in Group B, it could be either Spain, Portugal or Iran, for Russia, it was a reality check. Things are only going to get tougher against the big teams and their level today wasn't good enough. 89, G-O-A-A-A-L-L. Finally, Cavani has a goal. Godin got the first header in from the corner and Cavani was ready to pounce. Just in time for the co-rounds, Uruguay's lethal pair, Cavani and Suarez, has found their touch. 89, Russia's delivery from free kicks has been poor today. Very poor, can't remember one ball being on target today from a set piece. Just not good enough. 84, Smolov with a wonderful run down the left side. Showing some good skills too. Russia have shown enough today to show that they will be a chance in the co-rounds too. Today was just not their day. Saudi Arabia 1-1 Egypt it is the El Hattari show in Volgograd. Makes two good saves in quick succession to keep the scoreline 1-1, to 15 minutes to go in this game. Follow the live blog here 80, another chance for Cavani. Suarez sends a ball across the face of the goal for Cavani to run onto it but it is just out of Cavani's reach. 78, El Maestro has worked his magic again. After a drab display in the last game, Uruguay's midfield have been much more enterprising today. Uruguay's midfield is absolutely perfect today. Tuera is registered and tanker a little bit higher to dynamic box-to-box -box midfielders Vecino. Well played, Senor de Bares. He wanted to bury it in the top left corner but hit it into the stands instead. It is their first shot at goal in over an hour. 70. The Russian performance today is being seen by many in a positive light for an entirely different reason. Our footballers are proving not all our athletes dope. But they have since worked their way around that and are playing solid football. Russia are doing most of the running around but they will tire soon, given that they are a man down. 60, Russia still going at it. At least, they are losing in spirit. They are making this very good Uruguay defense work very hard today. 53, Russia are playing well after coming back on the field. Nice hold up play, it just makes Uruguay think a bit more and gives the massive home crowd something to cheer. 47, Cavani eventually stepped up to take the free kick and didn't do much with it. It remains 0-0, 46, we are back in Uruguay have a free kick in a dangerous position. Suarez earned it and he will want it. Halftime scores Uruguay 2-0 Russia Saudi Arabia 1-1 Egypt HT, Russia have been okay for most part but being a man down is not going to help them. 
but both sides would look to get through this match without any further damage. Uruguay, known to be a tough team, have surprisingly not got a single yellow card in the tournament so far. A record they would be keen to maintain, one that will also make Tabares very happy. That was Uruguay's half by a lot. They scored a goal, got lucky with another one and then saw a Russian player get a red card too. They should win this is a canter. HT verdict. What a guy, 36 red card. Smolnikov is off, his second yellow for a rush challenge on Laxalt. Russia were already two goals down and now, they are a man down too. There will be no coming back from this, 29, Suarez is on song today. He is troubling the Russian defense no end with his movement. Uruguay have never lost a two-goal lead in the World Cup. This is not looking good for the hosts. Well, they are already through to the next round but their confidence might take a hit. 23, GOAAAL. Unlucky for Russia but Black Salt's shot from distance took a huge deflection and did everyone in. The Russians are crumbling here. It is an own goal. Cherishev was the man who got his leg in the way. 16. Russia are launching attack after attack at the Uruguay goal now. They are sitting back. Some good spirit being shown here. Great free kick by Luis Suarez, but is it not a foul, or even cheating, when your teammate tugs one of the rival players out of the wall to leave a space for the ball to pass? One for VAR? The Russian goalkeeper took a step to his left and Suarez chose to go low into the right. It did the trick. This is Suarez's 53rd goal for Uruguay. If Uruguay win, they will face the second team in Group E. 9. Uruguay have a free kick just outside the box and Gazinski has a yellow for an ill-time tackle. 6. Uruguay are better on the ball today than in the earlier matches. In their last match, they were guilty of being far too defensive but today, they seem more on the ball. Russia haven't still found their rhythm. 3. Cavani brought down by a fair but tough tackle. He isn't happy though but the referee is having none of that. In Uruguay, all the school children get time off to watch the matches. Including this one. What joy, one, and we are off. Russia have left out their main creative man, Golovin, today. Most likely because he is already on a yellow. Time for the national anthems, the top team of Group A, essentially the winner of this match, is likely to face either Spain, Portugal or Iran. depending on results later tonight. Home advantage, the crowd has played a big role for Russia. They have motivated the team and the team in turn has boosted its performance to levels that not many thought were possible. A win for history. Uruguay have never won all three of their group games. Russia, in comparison, have achieved the feat once in 1966, Korea DPR, Italy, Chile. Russia, Soviet Union dominate, the sides have met eight times and Russia dominate with six wins, one draw and one loss. Their most recent meeting was a friendly in Moscow in 2012 and that ended 1-1. One -one. The home crowd support has allowed this Russia to play much better than most experts expected. 8 games, 6 wins, 1 draw, 1 loss, 45Y 161D, Egypt goalkeeper Isam El Hattari, 45Y 161D, is older than 3 of the managers at the 2018 World Cup Finals, 179 days older than Roberto Martinez, 413 days older than Milad and Kerstagic, 1164 days older than Elius Cissc Acute. The goalkeeper, who has 14 appearances now, overtakes Ladislaw Mazurkovic who had 13 games. Meanwhile, at 45 years and 5 months, Egypt keeper Assam El Hadri is set to become the oldest player ever to feature in a World Cup. He has been named in the starting 11 at Volgograd. Hello and welcome to the live updates of what will be the final round robin match of these teams. Hosts Russia, who have been sparkling form, face two-time champions Uruguay. 
Oscar Tabares's side, despite not showing enough bite in attack, sorry, have got the points on the board. Russia, who were a much vaunted side before the tournament started, have sparkled in attack. With eight goals from two games, Russia have are the joint top scorers in the World Cup. Russia coach Stanislav Shershasov said he would stick with the same lineup that beat Egypt 3-1. We don't choose our opponent in the last 16. We're not doing the calculations, we've never done them, said Shershasov. And in any case we don't have the choice, they play after us. We know both teams, the football gods will decide, with inputs from AFP, support our journalism by subscribing to Scroll here. We welcome your comments at letters at scroll.in. Uruguay vs Russia Football FIFA World Cup FIFA World Cup 2018 Sponsored content by published June 14, 2018 11.39 AM Share tweet email Reddit print Share tweet email Reddit print Why do we love watching movies? The question might be elementary, but one that generates a range of responses. If you had to visualize the world of movies on a spectrum, it would reflect vivid shades of human emotions like inspiration, thrill, fantasy, adventure, love, motivation and empathy, generating a universal appeal bigger than of any other art form. I distinctly remember when I first watched Mission Impossible A. The scene where Tom Cruise suspends himself from a ventilator to steal a hard drive is probably the first time I saw special effects, stunts and suspense combined so brilliantly, Shrissy, 30 beyond the vibe of a movie theater and the smell of fresh popcorn, there is a deeply personal relationship one creates with films. And with increased access to movies on television channels like the channel's tagline, Leap Forth, is a nod to the exciting and inspiring role that English cinema plays in our lives. Comparable to the pizzazz of the movie premieres, the channel launched its logo and tagline through a big reveal on a billboard with Spider-Man in Mumbai, activated by 10,000 tweets from English movies buffs. Their impressive lineup of movies was also shown as part of the launch, enticing fans with new releases such as Spider-Man, Homecoming, Baby Driver, Blade Runner 2049, The Dark Tower, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle and Life, Edgar Wright is my favorite writer and director. I got interested in filmmaking because of Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead. I love his unique style of storytelling, especially in his latest movie Baby Driver, Sid and 26 Indeed, movies can inspire us to leap forth in our lives. They give us an out-of-this-world experience by showing us fantasy worlds full of magic and wonder, while being relatable through stories of love, kindness and courage. These movies help us escape the sameness of our everyday lives, expanding our imagination and inspiring us in different ways. The movie world is a window to a universe that is full of people's imaginations and dreams. It's vast, vivid and populated with space creatures, superheroes, dragons, mutants and artificial intelligence, making us root for the impossible. Speaking of which, the American science fiction blockbuster, Ghost in the Shell will be premiering on the 24th of June at 1pm and 9 o'clock p.m., only on. I relate a lot to Peter Parker. I identified with his shy, dorky nature as well as his loyalty towards his friends. With great power, comes great responsibility is a killer line, one that I would remember for life. Of all the superheroes, I will always root for Spider-Man, a poor, 21 there are a whole lot of movies between the ones that leave a lasting impression and ones that take us through an exhilarating two hour long ride. This wide range of movies is available on the exciting movies available on